February 2017. Well, um, I need to tell all of you first that February is the month when our first set of lunar and solar eclipses take place. And like every year, uh, we needn't be frightened about it. We just need to be well prepared that how these shake-ups are actually a cosmic way of telling us that we need to do the introspection and make the much needed changes wherever it's necessary. Scorpio February 2017 for you. Well, a very good period to start your new projects, launching new ventures or whatever you have in your mind. Just execute it. Up to February 6th is the optimal time because the moon will be waxing and all the planets are moving forward. On the 6th, your financial planet Jupiter starts to go into retrograde, uh, retrograde motion. So start before that. There are two eclipses this month, so basically in a happy period. On the 18th, you enter one of your yearly personal pleasure peaks. So there is much change and upheaval going on. You will still manage to enjoy yourself in spite of all these upheavals. The lunar eclipse of the 11th, which is uh, for the Americans on the 10th, has a strong effect on you. So take it easy during this period. You don't need to be involved in daredevil stunts or break any athletic records. This eclipse occurs in your 10th house of career and signals career changes. These changes can take any forms. Now be prepared for shakeups in your company or industry that you're working for. During such shakeups, some of you could also be contemplating a job change or a complete change of your career path. Since the moon, the eclipsed planet rules your 9th house, Foreign travel is best avoided this period. In case you have to, then work around the eclipse dates. Students or those in the education field could be changing their streams. The solar eclipse of the 26th does not affect you as strongly. Actually, it makes harmonious aspects to, you, aspects to you. Reduce your schedule and workload anyway by taking intermittent rest periods. People around you may be affected by the eclipses. So be a little patient and a patient approach is required, frankly speaking, during the eclipse periods with everyone. The eclipse occurs in your fifth house and impacts on children or children figures. There could be dramas in their life. So make sure they remain out of harm's way. Speculations are best avoided this month. Dream life could be hyperactive this year, but do not pay much attention or be overly disturbed as the astral plane is also undergoing heavy changes. Every solar eclipse affects the career and the working industry. More or less, you will feel the same changes as during the lunar eclipse of the 11th. Now, because Neptune is directly involved in this eclipse, there can be scandals or unpleasant revelations in your company or industry. Finances are good this month, especially until the 18th. Try to wrap up all the important purchases or investments before the 6th, after which the Jupiter starts going retrograde. Your financial planet Jupiter will be retrograde for a couple of months. This will slow things down but it will not stop your earnings. So you don't have to fear. You just need to think whatever you have started will carry on. Though the results you may want overnight, they may not happen overnight. The results may be slow, but definitely it's not a defeat. Well, this time I made slight changes uh, for your greatest days because this year is really good and it's really positive. So you must monitor your greatest days your hectic days, your honey days, your money days, and your professional days. These are very important for you. So to know these important dates, please get into my website and check them out.